Friday, December, what's today? Uh, Daleza, go ahead and tell me what today is. The... Daleza, how would we say this number? 11. Good job. December 11th, 2020. I'm going to ask Petra to help me write out the date. Do you remember what number we start with, Petra? December. So December is which month? Should we count to find out? Yes. Okay. January, February, March, June, April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. So I had 10 plus two more. 11, 12. 12. 12. So we put a 12 here, and then what goes next? 11. Good job, 11. Yeah. Yeah. 20. Nice job. So we would read this as 12, 12th month, dash 11, dash 20. Elijah, this question is for you. If today is Friday, that means yesterday was? This is for Elijah. Yesterday was? Can you hear me? Good job, Elijah. Yesterday was Thursday. Elijah, same. I'm going to call on you again. Are you ready? Today is Friday. Tomorrow will be... Friday. Here's today. Friday. Tomorrow is... Saturday. Good job, Elijah. Tomorrow will be Saturday. We have two birthdays here on today's date, boys and girls. And the birthdays are for Kendra and Ashley. So if you happen to see them today, either in your Zooms or um, if you see them outside of school, you want to wish them happy birthday, okay? So Kendra and Ashley, they both have a birthday today. So we have two cupcakes here. All right. Okay, we're going to go to days of the week. So remember, when we do this on the Zoom meeting, I have you guys stay muted, but I want you to sing along, okay? If everyone unmutes, it gets really loud, so make sure you stay muted, but you're singing along with me. Okay, here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's, there's Wednesday. Tuesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. And then there's Days Saturday. of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Days of the week. Good job. I know you guys have been practicing these because when you're here in person, it sounds really, really good. All right, months of the year, we're going to stand up, sing it two times through, and then we'll sit back down. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December. Those are the months of the year, and we all turn around. January, February, March, and April, May. June, July, and August, September, October, November, October. December. Those are the months of the year, and we all sit down. 
Awesome job. All right, Eli, I'm going to be calling on you, okay? Eli, what's the weather like today? When you respond, I want you to say, today's weather is, hmm, okay? All right, Adrian, can I have you help out, Eli? Do you know what today's weather is like? Sunny. Sunny. So, Adrian, I'm going to have you say, today's weather is sunny. Today's weather is sunny. Good job. Uh, Adrian, is this sunny? Mm -hmm. I can't see because, because like, the new... I can't really see. Let me see if I can fix that. Is that better? No. Oh, yeah. Okay. Is this sunny? No. How about this one? No. How about this one? No. This one? Yes. Good job. All right. Sunny. Adrian, how many days are sunny so far? Three. Three days. Great job. All right, move my camera back up just a little bit. All right, days that we have been in school. I need to add to days, so I'm just going to drag it over and drop. Go ahead and count. You may count by tens or ones. And then you're going to use the raise hand button to tell me how many days we've been in school. Okay? So I'm going to be watching to see whose hand is raised. About 10. Are we done on this class? After show and tell. Okay, we're looking for how many days we've been in school. Kieran, you're raising your hand. Do you want to tell us how many days? Yeah. Okay, do you want to count by tens or by ones? Yeah. Okay. All right, ready when you are. Oh, are you doing it on your own? Yeah. Okay. Ninety-eight. Okay, I'm going to keep ninety-eight in my mind, and then I'm going to count through, and we're going to check your answer, okay? Here we go, Kieran. Ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty. I can't say seventy because this one's not full, so now I need to switch to ones. Sixty-one, sixty-two. 63, 64, 65. Keep going with me, Kieran. 66, 67, 68, 69. 69 days, Kieran. Do you know how to write that? Uh, 
a six and a nine. Nine. We have that right. So I think you said ninety. I think you said ninety-eight. But that's okay. That's why we always double check, and then we can talk about why we have a six here. There's six groups of ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nine little ones. One, the first two, three, three, five, six. Isn't it fun? Seven, eight, nine. Good job, Kieran. Thanks for helping me. Okay, Math Mountain. We have a different kind of problem today. So there's going to be a lot of parts to this question. So we need to make sure that we really focus and circle the parts that are really important, just like we always do in our math class. So I'm gonna read it through, and then we're gonna talk about those pieces. The math monsters are going to the splash pad. Why are they going to the splash pad? It's cold out, we should probably let them know that. Um, five monsters bring a blue towel. 10 monsters bring a red towel. One monster forgot to bring a towel. How many monsters are going to the splash pad? So I'm gonna go back through boys and girls and circle all of the numbers. Five monsters bring a blue towel. Five. 10 monsters bring a red towel. 10. One monster forgot to bring a towel. So I also need to circle the one. We want to know <clears throat> how many monsters are going to the splash pad. So if each monster is talked about in this problem, we have three numbers to add together. So we're going to have something plus something plus something equals mystery. <clears throat> so. I'm gonna call on some students to tell me what numbers I need to write where, and then we can start using the counters. <clears throat> so my first number, I see a couple of hands raised. Petra, where, what is my first number? Five. Five. <clears throat> so I need to put five counters, are you ready? One, two, three, four, Five. Okay, my next helper is Nicholas. I haven't heard from you yet. Nicholas, what's my next number? So I use the five monsters bring a blue towel. What's my next number? 10. 10. Nice job. So now I need to put 10 counters down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Wow, that's a lot. I have one more number that I need to add. Kaya, can you tell me my last number I need to put up here? One. One, yeah. One monster forgot to bring a towel. But we still include that monster because they're asking how many monsters are going to the splash pad. So I have five monsters bringing a blue towel, ten bringing a red, and one that forgot a towel. But we still need to include it. But that's still a monster. Okay. Our job now is to count up all of these counters to figure out how many monsters went to the splash pad. Now, there are a couple ways that we can do this. We can count all of the counters, but that might take a while. You can also look at the first two numbers and notice that something plus 10, we know in a snack. I know Super what easy. Is. Okay, make sure you raise your hand, please. We have three numbers to add together. Don't forget about this one. If you know what it is, I want you to raise your hand. If I call on you, your job is to read the whole equation. If you just say the answer, I'm going to be looking for someone else to help too. So make sure you see the whole thing. OK, 
Okay. Uh, I see a one, two, three, four, five. Is that you, Keila? Oh, it's Mason. Hi, Mason. So, Mason, you said that 5 plus 10 equals? Can you? 15. Okay, but don't forget about this one. We need one more. What's one more after 15, Mason? So I'm going to help you out, okay? We have our 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then one more. 16. 16. So Mason, when you say your answer, I want you to read the whole thing. Are you ready? Okay. 5 plus, 5 plus 6. Oh, equals. what's this number? What's this one? Plus one equals 16. Plus one equals 16. Nice job, Mason. I'm super proud of you for um, answering that. That was a lot of math that we had to do. Excellent job, boys and girls.